Main CPC. So glad that you are here with us this morning. We are celebrating with these kids of all ages being baptized, buried in Jesus' name in baptism, raised to walk in newness of life. Caleb, come on up here if you would. Come on, my man. This young man, yes. He's one of the coolest children workers that we have here. He is a child at heart. Tell everybody your name. Caleb. Caleb, you giving your heart to Jesus? Yes. You ready to show the world? Yes. Caleb, we have the honor now to baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Buried in Jesus' name in baptism and raised to walk in newness of life. Beautiful. Come on, Isabel. Isabel is so excited. She come to church this morning. Pastor D, I'm so excited. Be baptized. Yes, you are. Tell everybody your name. Isabella. How old are you? Six. Six. Are you ready to be baptized? Yes. Yes, you've been ready for a long time. Go ahead and come up here and sit down. We're going to disappear. There you go. All right. Isabel, we have the honor now to baptize you. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Buried in Jesus' name in baptism and raised to walk in newness of life. Oh, she is one excited young lady. Come on, girl, get up here. Beautiful, beautiful. Dad, you're going to have the honor to baptize your daughter. That's awesome. Come on, girl, get in here. Tell everybody your name. Don't sit down yet. Brandy. Brandy and Brandy. Have you given your heart to Jesus? Yes. Yes. You're ready to show the world? Yes. You're going to follow Jesus? Yes. All the days of your life? Yes. Amen. All right, here we go. Brandy, go ahead and sit down. <laughs> we have the honor now to baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Buried in Jesus' name in baptism. Woo! And raised to walk in newness of life. Good job, Brandy. Emery, come on, Emery. Beautiful young lady, beautiful family. Dad, you're going to have the honor to baptize your daughter also. All right, what, tell everybody your name. Emery. Emery, you giving your heart to Jesus? Yes. Yes. Are you excited about this? Yes. I know you are. <laughs> All right, Emery, we've got the honor now to baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Buried in Jesus' name in baptism and raised to walk in newness of life, Emery. All right, awesome. Pastor Chris, Big Josh is getting baptized also along with his daughter this morning, but I don't know if there's a tank big enough to hold him. I'm just saying. May I, you gonna try this one here, Pastor? Uh, no, let's do this You one. better do that one right over there. Come over here. Over there. <laughs> Big man right there. I don't want to bump your head on the other one. All right, dude. Let me take your glasses there. Wow. Hey, bro. Hey. How special was that? That was pretty special. Baptize your daughter? Yeah. And now right here with your daughter, your wife, your family, and your spiritual family, you declare your faith in Jesus. Amen. Amen. <laughs> You know I love you and I'm proud of you. you. Today it's my honor to baptize you, my brother, to the Lord Jesus, in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. You are buried with Jesus and you are raised to walk in new life, my friend. Amen. <laughs> Can you tell everyone your name? Jalen Mabry. Jalen Mabry? Yes. I'm so excited that you're here. Took guts to get up here, right? And you've accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Yes. And you're going to live for him from every moment, from this moment forward, correct? Yes. Well, Jalen, it is my honor and my privilege to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yeah. I want everyone to say hello to Marty. Marty's been uh, coming, joining us in worship for the past couple of months, I guess now, right? And, uh, I mean, from the first day I met you, you were just so passionate about being at church. And you came during our fasting, and you asked for a, a devotional your first day here. You wanted to read that. 
And uh, Marty, before God and this spiritual family, do you confess Christ as your Lord and Savior? Yes, I do. And I know you love him, don't you? Yes. And it's so uh, such a great honor for us that you've asked today to be baptized to the Lord Jesus, to make your faith public. Is that right? Yes. Then we baptize you to our Lord Jesus in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. I baptize you now in Jesus' holy name. You're cleansed through the blood of Christ. Amen. Come on, church. Give God a shout of praise. Come on, up here, girl. How are you? You excited? I love watching you guys get in this water with your shirt on. You have decided. Yes. Tell everybody your name. Savannah. Everybody say, hey, Savannah. Savannah, have you decided? Yes. Follow Jesus. Yes. You love him? Yes. Going to serve him always. Yes. <laughs> I love this. Y'all see this joy, man? I'm telling you. It's our honor to baptize you, Savannah, to the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, you are buried with Christ and raised to walk in new life. Awesome morning. Look at the smile on her face. Isn't it beautiful? Would you tell everybody your name, please? Amber. Amber? Yes. All right. Amber, have you received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? I have. And you confess that uh, uh, you will have him in your life. Practice everything he's asking you to do for the rest of your life. Absolutely. Amen. You ready Amen. to be baptized? Yes, I am. Buried in the likeness of his death and raised in the likeness of his resurrection, I baptize you this, my sister, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Give it up. How are you today? Tell everybody your name. Maria. Everybody say hi, Maria. Hi, Maria. Hey, Maria, we're so excited. As Jesus in your heart. Yes. Go live for him all your days. Yes. It is our honor to baptize you among your testimony of following Jesus. Today you are buried with Christ, raised to walk a new life. In the name of Jesus. Amen. <laughs> wow, what a day for you. You know, we just had prayer in the back in, in the back room. She was a little nervous, but I told her that her family. We'll be clapping for her. She may not know everybody, but she knows beyond a shadow of a doubt that angels in heaven are clapping just as we will be. Would you tell everybody your name? Anna. Anna, have you confessed Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior? Yes, I do. And you promise to live out the days the rest of your life to serve him wholeheartedly? Yes. All right. Baptized. You ready? Buried in the likeness of his death and raised in the likeness of his resurrection. I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Look at all them people out there. They're clapping for you. Hey, tell everybody your name, dear. Dana Kalaitis. Everybody say, hey, Dana. <laughs> Are you a little excited? Very. Okay. <laughs> Do you confess before God and your spiritual family that you've asked Jesus in your heart? Absolutely. You love him? I love him. You're going to live for him all your days? All my days. Then based on your testimony, it is our honor to baptize you to the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Daddy, you are married in Christ. You are raised to life. This is a special day for you, isn't it? Yes, sir. Would you tell everybody your name? Bradley. Bradley? Yes, sir. Great to meet you, Bradley. Say hey, everybody say hey, Bradley. Hey, Bradley. 
you confess Jesus Christ your Lord and Savior and promise to live out the rest of your days to serve him with all your heart, all your mind, and with everything about you. I do. All right, you ready? Baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And everybody said, Amen. Amen. Everybody say, hey, Mike. Mike, uh, you came and saw me this week. Today's a very special day for you. Go in the center. I say, when I was nine years old, this grace every class, uh, I baptized what we have to do. And uh, as the word says, I've come to thank you for this job. Today you're a testimony of a recommitment to your faith in Jesus Christ. And I know you love the Lord, don't you? It's based on your commitment to the Lord and your rededication today that I'm proud to baptize you to our Lord Jesus. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Mike, you are buried with Christ. Yeah. You are raised along with you. <laughs> I think we can agree that uh, every new day is a new beginning. And the choice that you made to receive Jesus Christ, the Lord and Savior, is a new beginning. And today is another beginning. And it's a testament about what God has done in your life. Amen? Amen. Tell everybody your name. Uh, Caleb Moore. Caleb. Everybody said, hey, Caleb. <laughs> All right, Caleb. You ready for this? Yeah, I'm ready. All right. Buried in the likeness of his death and raised in the likeness of his resurrection, I baptize this, my brother, in the name of the Father. The Son of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Hey, tell everybody your name. Everybody say, hey, Blake. Hey, Blake, man. Do you confess Christ as your Savior? I do. Today's a good day, right, bro? Excellent day. Excellent day. Man, I'm so proud of you. And so today, upon your confession of faith in Jesus, I'm proud to baptize you, my brother, to the Lord Jesus, in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blake, you're buried in Christ, raised to walk a new life, buddy. You tell everybody your name. Kenton. One more time. Kenton Martin. Kenton, this man has uh, been living for this day not for himself, but to live for the Lord. And he, every time he comes to church, all he talks about is living for Christ the best he can. And he can't believe that he's surrounded by a lot of people that he don't even know that loves him just like Jesus loves you. Amen? Amen. You ready to be baptized? Yes, sir. All right. Glasses, too. Buried in the likeness of his death and raised in the likeness of his resurrection, I baptize this, my brother Kenton, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. something fun to do and decided to uh, try my hand at a, a co-ed softball team 
and uh, his his family just accepted me with open arms and and brought me in and let me play on their team not knowing anybody and uh, just loved on me and uh, today I get the honor and uh, privilege of baptizing their son Kobe today and uh, can everybody say hi to Kobe this morning Kobe has such an awesome story Uh, 14 14 years old and uh, he's already just battled and battled and battled and uh, he battled this thing called cancer and won and today he wants to put hell on notice that he's a child of God Amen? amen Colby have you accepted Christ as your savior yes sir you gonna live for him all your days yes sir well I get to baptize you today, and it's my honor and privilege. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, buried in the likeness of his death. So, as you see, there's nobody here in the uh, baptism troughs. But there was one person, very special situation, and thank God for our media crew who intercepted this message. And the message came from a family member, Vicki May. And Vicki May was in a hospital, was diagnosed terminally to pass within weeks. And with that, she requested, the family requested that somebody that we would honor in baptism because of a possible, uh, possible decision that she made. And they wanted somebody to go to the hospital, a pastoral staff member. Knowing the family somewhat that I did, I visited her, Vicki May, in the hospital. And she only had several weeks to live. But she asked to be baptized The family members, knowing that, knowing that, asked her if she wanted to receive Jesus Christ as her Lord and Savior. And she said, yes, there's just something missing. I have to do something. I just feel empty. Through the family member and through our visitation from the pastoral staff here at Connection Point Church, we visited her in the hospital. She accepted Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, with about eight or nine family members in that hospital room And I just happened to be carrying a baptism certificate, expecting that something was going to happen. And I asked her if she wanted to be baptized, and she said yes. I baptized her that day in the hospital. The look on her face, the peace in her family's eyes, spoke a thousand words just in a few words. Dreams were launched. Prayers were answered. This woman, you see, she passed away several days after that. But she passed away knowing beyond a shadow of a doubt that she has in in heaven forever. And the peace that came across her, you cannot explain. So you know what? She's celebrating, the angels are celebrating, and you don't know her, and you're celebrating. So give her a hand clap of praise again, would you? Dude, you believe in the amazing grace of God? Yes, I do. You experienced that grace? Yes. You trusted in Jesus as your Savior? Yes. It's my honor, brother, to baptize you to the Lord Jesus today. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, you are buried in Christ. You are raised for us a new life, brother. <laughs> what a morning, amen? Yeah. My name is Jason. Jason? Logston, yes. Nice to meet you. So if you've given your, your life to Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. And that you promise to live out the rest of your days and be a walking testimony for those who are questioning and those who want to know about what decision you made. Amen? Yes, sir. All right. I buried in the likeness of his death and raised in the likeness of his resurrection. I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Give it up. Yeah, I'm so pumped about this baptism right here. It's 
Let's get on up just a little bit there, brother. Hey, tell everybody your name. Uh, Javon. Javon? Yeah. Everybody say, hey, Javon. Hey, man. You believe in that amazing grace we just sang about? Yes, sir. Have you asked Jesus in your heart? Yes, sir. Look out here. This is your spiritual family now. We're celebrating with you. And the Bible says that every time someone calls on the name of the Lord, the angels of heaven are rejoicing. So not only are we celebrating with you, I need you to never forget this. I don't know why I'm supposed to tell you this. You're never to forget this. Living for Jesus, the angels of heaven will always celebrate your decision. Amen. Amen. So I'm proud to baptize you, my brother. To the Lord Jesus, today you are buried in Jesus. You are raised to walk in your life. Yeah. What's so amazing is that when you look about all this crowd, they don't know you. But just like the angels in heaven, they're going to be clapping for you when you come up out of this water. And there is no other feeling like it. So you've given your life to Jesus Christ. Amen? Yes. Would you tell everybody your name? Josh. Josh, say, hey, Josh. Yeah. All right, let's do this. Buried in the likeness of his death, raised in the likeness of his resurrection. I baptize you, my brother, in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> so proud. Hey, brother, tell about your name. My name is Milo. Milo? Everybody say, hey, Milo. Hey, buddy. You excited? Yeah. You ready for, for sure. this? Yes, I am. Have you asked Jesus in your heart? Yes. Never going to be ashamed of him? No, never. He'll never be ashamed of you, brother. Amen. Neither will we. We're proud of you, and we honor what God is doing, and we baptize you today to the Lord Jesus in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, buried with Jesus, raised a new life. <laughs> Hey, brother. <laughs> How are you? Good. There's a big drop right there. Dude, I am so pumped about this. Tell everybody your name. Uh, my name's Sean. Sean? Everybody yeah. say hey, Sean. <laughs> uh, so last night was the Teen Challenge Banquet, annual banquet. It was amazing. Let's give up some love to all our Teen Challenge brothers. Yeah. John approached me last night at the banquet at the end. He grabbed me with this huge smile on his face and told me he's ready to go public. Amen? Yes. yes. You're unashamed of Jesus today? No, not at all. Not ashamed of him at all? Not at all. You know he's come into your heart? Yes. Forgave you of your sin? Yes. And on your testimony, I'm proud, brother, to baptize you to the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, you are buried in Christ, ready to be raised in new life. <laughs> in Jesus' name, remove all the sin. Lydia, come on, you've got your older sister with you. She's going to do the honors right over here, sis, and right in here. Come on, girl. Beautiful testimony she has. Tell everybody your name. Lydia. Tell them how old you are. Ten. You're giving your heart to Jesus. Yes, I know, I know. It's a special time for both of us, babe. Yes. Let's show the world what you've decided to do and live for Jesus. Amen? Amen. Amen. Sit down there, babe. All right. Beautiful. Lydia, thank you for coming. Spirit of God, all over you already, babe. What a moment we have in your life. We've got to honor now Lydia. Go ahead and hold your nose to baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Buried in Jesus' name and baptism and raised to walk in newness of life. Beautiful, yeah, sweetheart. Girl, they're all special. But this little girl was responsible for eventually leading her dad to Christ through friends in a small group. Praise God. 
I baptized her mom. Praise God. That's awesome. I baptized her mom in 2006. This child wasn't even thought of. And now she sits here. And the last service, she gave her life to Jesus Christ. Yeah. And, and came up running and said, Pastor Kevin, I just gave my life to Jesus Christ. And, and Crystal, and we're the Williams family. Where are y'all? There you are, right there. They've been a part of this instrumental life. And because of this, because of the love they have for her, she is, they have guided her. And today, she made a decision. So Amen. you ready to be baptized? Yes, sir. Would you tell everybody your name, please? Haley. All right, Haley. That's Buried in the likeness of his death and raised in the likeness of his resurrection, I baptize this, my sister, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Give it up! Yeah. Amen! <laughs> hey, come on in here. Hi, guys. Man, I'm so excited. Tell everybody your name. Shana. Everybody say, hey, Shana. <laughs> Who's, who you got with you here? Say Alex and my daughter Presley. Oh, everybody say hello to Alex and Presley. <laughs> We're so excited you're here. You know, um, God's just doing incredible work in you guys' life. Do you confess before God and your spiritual family today that you've invited Jesus Christ to be your Lord and Savior? Absolutely. Giving it all over to Him. Giving it all. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Baptism this Sunday. Marriage next Saturday. <laughs> Mm. I'm about to have a fit right here with you. God's just working, and I'm so proud of you. And based on your confession of faith, it is our honor to baptize you, my sister, to the Lord Jesus, in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You're buried with Christ, raised to walk in new life. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, don't you feel the momentum in this room? The momentum of Christ and just like the momentum that's living in your heart. Would you tell everybody your name? My name is Mariah. Mariah, beautiful name. Ladies and gentlemen, say, hey, Mariah. Yeah. Mariah, have you given your life to Jesus Christ? Yes. And you promise to live out the rest of your days knowing that he'll be your God and the, and the life of your life? Yes. All right, let's baptize you, okay? You know, buried in the likeness of his death and raised in the likeness of his resurrection. I baptize this, my sister, in the name of the Father, the Son of the Holy Spirit. Awesome, awesome. Woo! <laughs> All right, girl, tell everybody your name. Michaela. Everybody say, hey, Michaela. Hey, Michaela. Man, we're so excited for you. You got the shirt on. It says, I've decided. Have you decided to follow Jesus? Yes. You've invited him in your heart. Yes. You'll live for him all your days. Yes. You know he loves you, and we're proud of you. Based on your faith, we baptize you today, my sister, to the Lord Jesus, in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, raised to walk in newness of life. Good job, girl. How are you doing? Big step right there. Tell everybody your name. Michelle. Everybody say hi to Michelle. All right, so, so tell us what's going on here. Well, I've been a Christian all my life, but I've never been baptized. And recently I've kind of rededicated my life to the Lord, and I want to want to do this. Amen. So. Amen. And who's this? This is my daughter, Michelle. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Mom and daughter having a special day in the Lord today. Very proud of her. Amen. Proud of you both. Based on your profession of faith and your commitment to recommit yourself to your Lord today, it's my honor to baptize you to the Lord Jesus in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Today you are buried with Jesus, raised to walk in new life. Amen. <laughs> What a day. I seen the smile on your face earlier. Tell everybody your name, please. Uh, Kinsey. Kinsey. So Kinsey and I had a short conversation about what believer's baptism means. And believer's baptism means that you made the conscientious effort 
on your own heart and your own accord to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, did you not? Yes. And because of that, believer's baptism, that you're making a decision to expose the decision that you made to everybody else. Say, everybody say, hey, Kenzie. Hey, All right. You ready? Yes. All right. Buried in the likeness of his death and raised in the likeness of his resurrection. I baptize you, my sister, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So awesome. What a great morning. Tell everybody your name. Hannah. Everybody say hello to Hannah. Hannah. Hannah, your spiritual family's out here. Is it mom? Mom is right here with you. We're going to have a good time in the Lord today. What an honor. Thank you for making a decision today to be baptized. Are you professing your faith in Jesus? Yes. You know he loves you. Yes. He's proud of you. Mom is, and so are we. And so it's an honor to baptize you to the Lord Jesus based on your confession of faith. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, you're buried in Jesus' name, raised to walk in new life. Amen. <laughs> Congratulations and good morning to you. You tell everybody your name? Olivia. Olivia, what an awesome day. What an awesome morning. And you made a decision to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Have you not? You ready to be baptized and you understand that you made that decision so that you can be baptized today. As a witnesses to everybody in this room, witness that you made a change in your life. You ready? All right. Buried in the likeness of his death. Raised in the likeness of his resurrection, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yeah. All right. Tell her. Oh, I love it. I love it. <laughs> tell her about your name. I'm Beth. Hey, everybody say hey to Beth. And what did you just tell me? This is what? It's a family affair this morning. So what's happening with the family today? So our family has been, I feel like, just rededicated to Jesus, and we all want to do more. Amen. So today is part of us will be here today and part of us next time. Amen. Awesome. Being baptized. Who's that guy over in the other tank over there? That's my husband, Keith. <laughs> Come on, church. Come on. Give all the glory to Jesus for what he's doing right here. That's my daughter, Bly. Her daughter? Nephew Nick over there. <laughs> Anybody else about to have a fit? <laughs> Just the pastor. I'll tell you what, this is holy water rolling up here today. Amen. It is. it is. You confess Christ as your Lord and Savior? I do. Love him with all your heart, don't you? I do. It's our honor to baptize you. Baptize you to our Lord Jesus in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, buried in Jesus' name, raised to walk in a new life. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> this is a family event. Yeah. And this is a family event you shall never forget the rest of your life. Never. And it is already recorded in, in the books of heaven that we know of. And beyond a shadow of a doubt, you've made a decision, correct, to accept Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior. Yes. All right. So once again, tell everybody who's this guy right next to you. This is Nick. Okay. Nephew. All right. You know what? This is a family thing, isn't it? Yes, it is. And it's a family celebration. You yes. ready? Buried in the likeness of his death, raised in the likeness of his resurrection, I baptize you, my brother, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. All right. Tell everybody your name. Emily. Everybody say hello to Emily. Amen. Amen. Who's this guy coming up here beside us here? That's her husband right there. Amen. Look, they both got the shirt on. This is getting rich up here today, folks. God is restoring families and their lives. Do you confess Christ is your Lord and Savior? Yes. You love him? Yes. You know he loves you? Absolutely. You know this crowd out here, this spiritual family cares for you too. And we're going to be here cheering you on just like the angels of heaven are. Amen? It's our honor to baptize you, my sister, to the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, raised to walk in new life. Amen? Amen. 
<laughs> What's it like to see your family members standing behind, watching all of everybody get baptized and knowing that you've all confessed Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior. So you have confessed your, your, as Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior. Tell everybody your name. Jane. Hey, say, say hey, Jane. Jane. <laughs> all right. You know, we got Nick here and, and the family. So what an awesome day. You ready? Buried in the likeness of his death, raised in the likeness of his resurrection. I baptize this, my sister, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Tell everybody your name. John. Everybody say hello to John. You just saw John's wife being baptized. Now John's being baptized and he was just sharing with me how much of a truly family affair this all is. So the, the couple that, the husband and wife that got baptized just a few moments ago, that's sister-in-law's parents. parents. This is amazing what God's doing here today. Amen. So awesome. So John, you, you confess Christ as your Lord and Savior? Yes. Love him? Yes. Know he loves you? Yes. And this spiritual family loves you guys, and we're proud of you. And my brother, it's an honor for me to baptize you to our Lord Jesus in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, buried in Jesus' name, raised to walk in new life. Amen. <laughs> I am Ethan. He's Ethan. He's not nervous. He's locked in. I'm ready. Right. You guys are wondering. You've uh, given your heart yes. to Jesus. Absolutely. And you pledge from this moment forward to live your life for Him and be faithful to your calling, right? Most definitely. Man, I cannot wait to see the future. I know God's going to do something incredible. And it is now my honor and my privilege to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yeah! Come on, somebody ought to shout the name of Jesus real loud right now. I'm telling you. <laughs> he is the one we honor, we glorify, and He is working. Amen. You can be seated for just a moment. Would you tell everybody your name? Matthew Slomanski. Everybody say hello to Matthew. Matthew, wow, dude. You made a decision today. You following Christ? Yes, sir. You've asked Him to come into your heart and be your Savior. Yes, sir. Dude, it is our honor to baptize you today on your profession of faith. Let's go just a little bit. We baptize you to the Lord Jesus in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, buried with Jesus in life of his death, and raised to walk in new life. Come on, church, let's give praise. They're all so special, and, and, and this one. So Haley was just baptized earlier in the service. This is her sister. Would you tell everybody what your name is? Kylie. So this is this is Haley's sister. She started asking questions about the decision that Haley just made. And she said, I want what you have. What do I need to do? And before you know it, in the back room, we lead her to Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, goes to the plan of salvation, and now she wants to be baptized because of the decision she just made. So you know what? God is on the move in this house. God is on the move. And back again for her second appearance in baptism is her mama, Susanna. And she gets to witness a baptism of her beautiful children. And guess what? Haley is going to help me baptize her own sister. All right? You ready to be baptized? All right, one more time. Tell everybody your name. Kylie. Kylie, you made a decision to accept Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior. You promise to live out your days the rest of your life serving him with the best that you know how. Yes. All right. Buried in the likeness of his death, raised in the likeness of his resurrection, I baptize this, my sister, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. 
I got to go up there, Mama. It's definitely a big one. All right. Hey, there's going to be one more big step right here, okay? Here we go. I got you. There we go. So, Pastor Chris, <laughs> real quick, this is the family um, that of the lady that baptized in the hospital really? that passed away several days later. Oh, my goodness. And this is their family this here to the witness. Family. So good to meet you. And to carry on this legacy. Erica, everybody say hello to Erica. Is this your daughter? Yes. What's your name, sweetheart? Alabama. Alabama? (laughs) Everybody say, hey, Alabama. (laughs) Come on, roll tide. (laughs) All right. That's sweetheart. I'm so proud of you. Have you asked Jesus to come in your heart? Yeah. You gonna live for him? And look out here. All these people, they're proud of you. Just as I'm proud of you, your mom's proud of you, and heaven's proud of you. So today, Alabama, because you have asked Jesus to come into your heart, it is my honor to baptize you. You can help me, Mama. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, we bury you in Jesus' name. Raised to walk in new life. All right, Kurt Church, get on your feet. Give Jesus. 12 seconds of your best praise of the morning. Come on. He deserves it. What a great day we've had in the Lord today. Amen.